Hey folks, welcome back to the bench, the messy bench. Now you can see the quadcopter here, and finally got my camera, and my transmitter, and my receiver all in, plus some cloverleaf antennas that I can't mount right now because I got the wrong, uh, wrong uh, gender of SMA connectors, so I gotta wait till I get some adapters in. But the plan tonight is to try to get this into a mounting setup on the front of this. Now, I got a bunch of styrene. Well, I shouldn't say a bunch, but I bought some styrene. Got the sheet right here. This is uh, two millimeter thick. You can see. And I'm going to try to make myself a pod or a lot of videos they're referred to as backpacks that'll hold the camera and the transmitter all in uh, one easily easy to remove package so I can take this whole unit off and put it into another uh, vehicle as I wish so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first start out with the styrene I may change to carbon fiber down the road I've got some on order that's gonna be coming Probably going to take me a month or so to get it, but I can always do the base concept in styrene, and then if it works, I'll make it out of carbon fiber. But the plan is to have this mounted up. I'm going to have to mount it forward quite a ways because I'm finding getting this to fit in here might be a task because of its size. If I go sideways, and then once the adapters and that for these come in, it's not going to be any room. So if I can move it out and forward, that'll give me a lot more room to get the antenna in. Now whether I mount it that way or upside down or this way, I think it should be mounted either this way or this way. So the first step is going to be to make a front square. That'll hold the camera. Now it's got some mounting holes here. I just got to figure out how I'm going to mount that through to the... Uh, styrene because I don't have any standoffs. These are meant for looks like two and a half mil screws and I don't think I have any two and a half. I have two and three. But I'll have to look through my junk bins and see what I can find. But it's going to mount from the back side. So I'll make a square piece with a hole in the center. This will come from the back side and then get screwed down to that and then uh, we'll work from there out. So uh, I'll get that piece cut and You'll see, maybe see my thought process. Well, I managed to get a reasonably round hole in the styrene. And hindsight, I should have used my uh, hole socks. I used a unibit or a step drill bit, and it wasn't quite big enough, so I had to open it up with a Dremel, but uh, it's close enough. So now you can kind of see what I'm thinking. This will fit through like so. And then uh, bolt through somehow like so, and that'll hold it in place. But the problem is, like I said, these surface mount components get in the way. So I think what I'll do, and also I don't have any bolts or anything big enough, but what I'm thinking I'm going to do is... Uh, Instead of putting, I'm just going to make a spacer or two and I'll glue in some styrene right in maybe two thicknesses of that, uh, of this stuff and that'll space it back far enough and that'll also give me lots of meat that I can just put a uh, self tapping style screw in there and uh, snug it up. Won't have to snug it up too much but uh, that should hold her in place so. Let's see if that's going to do the trick. I will uh, cut a few, figure out which is going to be top, which is going to be bottom. Doesn't really matter, I guess. But uh, as far as I can tell, this is up on the camera. Or is it? <laughs> Who knows? But it's square, so it doesn't matter. It won't matter where I end up rotating it. The uh, 
pieces I got to build up will all be in the same place. So I've got some uh, plastic cement. This is the type of cement you use on styrene, the style stuff. You can use this stuff too. Good old testers, the uh, nasty stuff. But this stuff works good if you have a nice flat uh, surface that you're gluing together because it's a, it's a solvent cement. It melts the plastic together into one piece. So I'm going to cut a little, or mark the spots, cut some pieces out of scrap and glue her down and look for some screws and see if that's going to work out. And then we'll be on to the next step. All right. As you can see, I got the little pieces glued in. They're not very really pretty, but this is a proof of concept, and I can pretty it up after. But I'm gonna have to clean up these edges anyways because when I go to fit this in, you can see the spacing's gonna be good, but the blocks they don't have quite the clearance for a few of the components that are close to the edge. So once this glue sets up. It takes a little while to set up, especially because it's a little cooler in here. But then I can kind of just take my knife and trim it and get it get it a good fit. But I think it's going to work work out okay. So now the next step is to take some more of this stuff from the bigger sheet and uh, make a base that comes off the bottom and it comes out and that's what will attach in some means to the uh, to the quadcopter frame. I'll probably, it could be velcro, it could be screws through some rubber grommets for some uh, isolation to um, vibration, but uh, it'll be whatever it ends up being. Now I'm going to get my quadcopter back down and figure out how long it needs to be. It's like I was stating earlier, the camera has to get bumped out far enough so that there's room for my transmitter in behind. So I think, and also, oh, my braces are gonna, I'm gonna have to modify, well, we'll get to that after. So I think if it comes out somewhere around there, Okay, this is going to be a trial and error kind of job. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring it out right about there. So I'm going to say that's about six centimeters from this hole. So that's what we'll do. I'll cut a new plate, or another plate, six centimeters long. Or for uh, those of you that are still stuck on uh, inches, it's uh, about what two and two and three eighths. So I can actually keep cutting down here. So it's going to be five five centimeters wide, which is right at that cut, and six centimeters long. The nice thing about working with this styrene is uh, so simple to cut. Actually, what I might do, I need a bunch of five centimeter pieces. I'm going to need a brace, braces as well. So I'm just going to make a five centimeter mark on this edge. Let's do it like this. I need a finer tipped sharpie. Right about there. Extend that line all the way across. This isn't. Uh, not building a rocket here, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So, and then I'm just going to hold my knife on there, or ruler on there, and score it with my knife. Run it a couple times. You don't need to cut all the way through, because then you just take your on your cut line and snap her off, and you get a nice clean nice clean cut, pretty clean cut that way. So there, this whole section is going to be five centimeters wide. So it'll go, go like so. And now, we'll make a piece six centimeters long off of there. I'm going to go off with my factory edge. 
end. Mark there. Mark there. Cross and in. It doesn't have to, it's not going to be perfect. We've got lots of tolerance to work with here. Voila. And now, I'm looking, I want to work, say, I want to work the factory edge because it's going to be straighter than my cut. And this is going to mount like so. And then I'll put some braces down each side, made out of this stuff too. It'll be on the outside like that. And it's glued all together and it's going to be like a box with only uh, three sides now. I'm going to have to make some allowances on this side plate to get this in. Like for example the antenna will come through and, and so on. So what? Uh, and I'm going to make it at an angle. So I should be able to get my other two pieces. I might as well cut those out as well. So what I'll do here. Is I'm just going to mark it. I could use my ruler, but this will work good too. Mark it there and then draw from, a cor from the corner to my mark. A little bit off. Put my ruler in place. Just give it a score. Once you have one score, you can even remove your ruler. If you're careful, it'll just follow the same score that you created. Like that. That'll go on one side, like so. Also, the other nice thing about the styrene is you can. Once it's all glued together, you can kind of work it and shape it and make it look better. Now the other side, we'll do the same thing. We'll glue it all up and then probably I'll call it a night. Let the glue set up and then possibly I'd have to work tomorrow night after Got to work my second job after my first job tomorrow night. I don't know if I'll have much time to work on it. By the time I get home, I'll be ready just to pack it in in the chair. But yeah, we'll see. Look at that <laughs> parallelogram. So now you can see these will go like so. You probably can't see because my hand's in the way. Just turn it around like that, like that. You gotta have 12, 12 hands to do this to hold it. And then this will sit on the inside. There we go. Either on the inside or on the outside. Either way will work. And that'll actually it'll fit. Yeah. This goes on top. Hope you don't mind my rambling. Pull that back. And then I can uh, glue her all together and then uh, there's your little backpack comes on and off. So I'll try to glue it all together and show you the end result after the glue is in. Well, I got her all stuck together. I had a little miscalculation. I forgot to take into account the uh, thickness of the styrene. So there's a bit of a gap up here, but you know what? Who cares? I'll just nip, nip the corners off once it's glued in. I'll clean it up a bit, but uh, it's holding together pretty good. I'm going to just take some more of my solvent cement and apply it to all these edges so it kind of soaks in and helps bond everything 
because this is all I'm going to be able to do tonight until this stuff sets up good. That's why I'm just soaking it on here, not being cheap. Because uh, once she's all dry, I can get to uh, cleaning up these blocks inside so I can stuff the camera in. And as well, I'm going to have to modify the edges, the braces, because this isn't going to fit in. This is just going to fit in. So I may actually have to, I'll have to cut a hole for this whole antenna part to come through or I'll maybe I'll cut two holes in this on one side for the power connectors to come through power connector and the feed or the output to come through come on. boy these little connectors uh, hold really well Ooh. that's not right there we go so as I was saying, I can cut holes so the I can slide this forward quite a ways. So once I drill a hole, it'll drop in, and then two holes here, and have the power connector and the camera connector come through the outside. So the camera connector will have to kind of come out, maybe wrap around and go back in, or I don't know. We'll see, because I don't want to hog too much of that brace out, because the whole point of this brace is to make this front edge secure. There's not much weight to it, so I'm not worried about that. It's too bad these pins don't come up, though they are pin... You know what, folks? Those are just pin headers, I think. Let's see here. Maybe we'll be modifying my... Uh, eBay transmitter so that these come up instead. Let's test it out here before I uh, call her good. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So look at that. See, these, those just go right on there. And then I can always just take a little bit of hot glue and dab it on there. Keep things, uh, keep things in place. So actually, you know, I have my soldering iron, everything is not here right now. So I can't do anything. Let's just pull this heat shrink off. Some of that Mylar stuff. I've got some of that. So. And I'm pretty sure... Look at that. That piece just slips over top of a 90 degree header pin. So I can put... Ooh, she's going to be tight. The header pin is so close to the transmitter module. It might be uh, might be hard to make it fit. Oops. Not sure. Not sure if there'll be clearance. I might have to do a little come up, over, and then up for clearance, assuming these header pins are an appropriate length. able to just squeeze her in. That's for another day. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe that's what I'll work on tomorrow night if I uh, if I have time. But uh, in any case, stay tuned uh, for the next video whenever it may come. Take care and talk to you later.